Hello everybody, my name is Appleguy, and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. In the last video, we did some errands on Death Mountain, got some upgrades for items, and learned a new ability with the sword. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on our little, our little quest of gathering just different upgrades, different items, stuff before we continue the, the main story here. I'm in Kokiri Forest buying a new Deku Shield because mine burned in the Dodongo's Cavern. If yours burned, you can buy another one here for cheaper than anywhere else in the game. Uh, alternatively, if you do not care about the price, you can buy one from the business scrub inside of Dodongo's Cavern. Uh, the main part of today's video will involve us visiting a new area on the map, Lon Lon Ranch, which we've we've heard about a little bit from Malin and Talon back in episode 3. And then we'll be ending the episode by going into Hyrule Castle Town and just doing some, some little errands there as well, gathering some more upgrades as I said earlier. The first place we have to go is Lon Lon Ranch. We have to be visiting there during the day though, so I'm just going to kind of take my time and before I get to the gate and go inside, I'll be playing the Sun Song. So Lon Lon Ranch is in the middle of Hyrule Field, uh, sort of on the way to the castle you could say. It's a slight detour. It's directly to our right now on the other side of this gigantic wall, but really I have no clue why this wall is placed into Hyrule. No, oh, thanks for the boost there Mr. Stylechild. He didn't even know he was helping me climb faster. I bet he was very upset about that. We're just about outside the gates now. I'm gonna go ahead and whip out the Sun Song. I almost started playing the Song of Soren from Majora's Mask. <laughs> Whoops! That wouldn't have been good. Wouldn't have done anything, but I probably would have been pretty confused. Anyway, this is Lon Lon Ranch. The first bit of business we have here at the ranch is going to be directly in here to the left. Inside of here is Talon, and Talon, as we know, was the guy we woke up, and his daughter was mad at him because he was staying at the castle for far too long. Uh, he has a little bit of a mini game for us where we have to find some Kukos. If you guys want to make the game easier, you can brush all the Kukos into one corner, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Huh? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm gonna throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be 10 rupees. You wanna play? We do want to play. You have 30 seconds. Alrighty then. Get ready. Here go the super cuckoos. Start a looking. So there is no markers or anything to determine the super cuckoos from the normal ones. They are thrown into the three corners of the room, so you can kind of find them pretty easily. If you know where to look, that's not one of them. So then this probably is one of them. No, okay. This one maybe. There's one. One more cuckoo. I think he's hiding in here. It might be this guy. If it's not this guy, then it might be this guy. Or this guy. Or this guy. Or this guy. No, 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 no! He's gonna regather up all the Super Kukos if you fail and you don't get anything. Go ahead and pay 5 rupees to play again. And we're going to find the Super Kukos. I think this is one of them. Right here. Yep. That means the other one is probably this one. Yep. Last one is over here in this corner. Nope, he must have gone into the gaggle. It's pretty easy if you guys want to just gather the cuckoos and throw them away into one corner as you keep playing so you don't pick up them over and over again. But once you get all three, uh, he will give us the special prize. Golly, I'll be darned, it's plum incredible! That's the last one! You found them all! Come on over here! Hey you! You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys! How'd you like to marry Malin, huh? I mean, we have Saria. 
We have Zelda. But what's one more, am I right? Ho ho, I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Ho ho. He'll say the same thing, whichever option you pick, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own Lone Lone Milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. So he gives us the Lone Lone Milk, which is pretty grand on its own, but more importantly, he actually gives us a second bottle. So now we have the two bottles, if we want to store a fairy in one and some bugs in another or something, we have that option. Now over here we're going to be speaking to Malin again, after we have to run over here. She's with a bunch of horses, this little horse here is named Epona, and she's pretty skittish, so after we talk to her she'll probably run away. Oh, it's the fairy boy again! I heard that you found my dad! How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee! Malin, if you only knew. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him, hee <laughs> hee! Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy! She's this horse! Her name is Epona! Isn't she cute? Epona will run away because she does not like strangers. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song! Isn't it nice? Let's sing together! Uh, well, I'm not much of a singer here, Malin. I'm sorry, but I have this ocarina. Oh! Cute ocarina! Are you gonna play this song with that ocarina? She's going to go ahead and teach us Epona's song. For the time being, Epona's song is primarily only used for going up to cows and getting free milk. If you play it in front of a cow, they'll give you free milk. Uh, alternatively, it makes Epona not afraid of us. Which, you know, that's pretty great. Don't see any use for that now, but who knows in the future. Hey, Mr. Owl. So now Epona will just be pushing us around. She's, uh, you know, she's friendly to us now. That is all we can do at Lon Lon Ranch during the day, so now we need to make it nighttime to continue on getting new items. First thing we must do is go ahead and head back a little bit towards Talon. There is a golden Skulltula that hides inside of the tree. Uh, near that area. There's these new enemies in the sky, they're called Gways, they're basically crows. And they kind of act like keys to where they'll swipe down and try and attack you. Pretty easy to defeat though, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. Here's the Golden Skulltula. Nailed again! I have a bad record with getting these Golden Skulltulas to not hit me. There we go. And then we're going to be heading over to the little silo over in the corner of Lon Lon Ranch to get another Golden Skulltula as well as a little bit of a little bit of a life upgrade if you guys picking up what I'm putting down. So you guys can see there's a uh, there's a gold skull up here. Can't get it yet though because we have no means of getting it to come down from there. But you can you know, still leave the token if you want. We head back over here to the little feeding trough of the the horses during the day. That's where the horses eat, if you didn't know. There's a easier golden skull to get, because it's right here on the ground. Jump slash. Perfect, this guy didn't hit me. Alright, now it's time to head into the silo for that piece of heart I was talking about. Once inside, there are some cows. We don't really need to pay attention to those cows for now. What we need to do is get this block in the corner out, because that is where the milk is hidden. My apologies, that is where the heart piece is hidden. The milk? There's no milk. We don't want any milk. These cows are just going to keep moving as long as we're here. Oh my gosh. There we are. We can jump up now and crawl through the little hole to get something very special. You can see it already, there's the piece of heart. Just roll into it. Nope, missed it, here we go. You got a piece of heart, you completed another heart container. 
Now we have seven hearts. More than we had before. We're getting stronger, making our way up into the higher numbers of hearts and you know, just be growing stronger as we continue our adventure. Uh, we're now going to be heading over to Hyrule Castle Town because that is the place that has the next bit of stuff we need to do. Uh, as the Great Fairy said in the last video, she has a relative who lives near the castle who will grant us another upgrade. But there's more stuff we need to do there just besides meeting her. So I'll be heading there right now. Now that we are in the Hyrule Castle Town, I suggest coming into this little guardhouse over here and getting some rupees just so we have enough for all the games we're about to play inside of the town. I recommend anywhere from 60 to 90, but of course more is always better in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and farm up some rupees and see you guys in the main part of Castle Town. Here we are in the Market Square. We're going to go ahead and run over here to the Bomchu Bowling Alley, which was closed previously when we inspected this area. Huh? What? Uh-oh. A customer! Welcome to our Cutting Edge Amusement Center, the Bomchu Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret? I can't tell you until you've paid to play. It's 30 rupees per game. Do you want to play? We do want to play. Okay! Aim for the hole in the center and let Bomchu go. You'll get 10 tries, ready? Let's bowl! Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what you can win! A purple rupee. Great, we have to do this minigame until we get the prizes we are after. Those prizes being bomb shoes, of course. The biggest bomb bag, as well as a piece of heart. They're pretty easy to do, you just have to kind of avoid all the obstacles, let the bomb shoe go into the hole. I held that one on too long. Hopefully the chicken doesn't get in the way. Nope, we're good. This last level has a giant Kuko, so I think it's best to just go along the side if I remember correctly. I believe that should make... Uh, that's a little high. Okay, what does that mean? Do I need to step this way? That looks good. Still might be a little high. Nope, we're in there. Perfect. So I got the 50 rupees. Unfortunately, not the prize we're exactly after here, so we're going to have to keep replaying this game until we get what we want. Next attempt, we're about to win the piece of heart. Perfect. Let's go ahead and win that prize really quickly. Last game with the uh, bomb shoes did not go well. Oh, here's a new formation. It's over here on the side. Pretty easy. Just go over to the side. Oops. Come on, chicken. No, chicken, don't come over here. Dang, looks like I have to play this one, just like you play the one that goes into the middle. That looks like a good shot. Five left, half the supply to try and land the next one. It's this one here. I think you go over here and you throw it down. That's not going to be a good enough angle. I'm going to try like that. I also think that's going to be a bad angle. Go over more. Same angle, try again. That still isn't golden. Oh my gosh. Only a couple of tries left. <clears throat> Not looking promising so far. That looks good though. See if we can clutch it on the last try. We can. There's the piece of heart in our collection. Two items left we want. The bomb shoes and the biggest bomb bag. Gonna keep playing until we get those. If you run out of money, you can always run back to the guardhouse. These are just normal bombs, so we don't really want this prize, but we don't want to waste the money on the attempt, so we're just going to go ahead and go for it. It's all practice. No matter what prize we get from it, it'll all be good practice. Okay, bomb bag, high stakes. We have to play smart, but also play calmly. I have gotten the bomb bag once before, and I'll be honest, I choked it. But I'm just going to stay calm. Oh, not this one, dude. I don't like this one. Can you aim perfectly parallel? I don't think so. No, that's not. There's no way that's going to work. Oh my gosh. Wait, that'll work. That will work. Okay, well, it'll work if you don't ace it against the spike trap. It works. Okay. Okay, six going in. Don't panic. Don't panic. Everyone stay, stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. That's way too high. Okay. Nope, that's, that's also going to be 
way too high. Come on. Oh, that worked! Wait, what? Okay, we got it. We got the biggest bomb bag. 40 bombs now we can carry. But how got... That one should have worked. It blew up right inside of it. Anyway, here we go. Biggest bomb bag. We can carry up to 40 bombs. Largest size of bombs we can get. Funnily enough, we got the bombs two episodes ago. Last episode we got an upgrade. This episode we got an upgrade. So, you know, we're making our way up. I'm going to keep grinding until I get the bomb chews. And I'll see you guys back here when I get it. Okay, this one's for the bomb chews. Uh, you don't need the bomb chews to beat the game. Um, or at all, really. But it's just for completion's sake on my screen. And now that we're beginning with failed level 1, that's not a very good sign. Double failed level 1, definitely not a good sign. <laughs> oh man. It's okay now, I kind of feel like I have a bit of a hold on all the different board variations. You can get, please chicken stop walking. Thank you chicken, I appreciate that very much. Okay, 6 going into final. Iffy on this. Just gonna, you know, do, do my best. See what we can come out with. Hopefully we can come out on top. That's a good angle. There we go. That's all three of the special items we can get from the Bomb Tree Bowling Alley. Some of those angles are really hard to get. It took me about, gosh, I think it was 27 or 26 tries. 26, 27, somewhere in there to get all the items. But now we have the Bomb Shoes on the screen. That's literally all I needed to get. Oh, so guys, don't give up hope if you're playing along with me. It's, um, it can be very challenging. We're gonna go ahead and play the Sun Song now. For the next thing we need to do here in the Market Square. It's nighttime now. And what we need to do is go over here and touch this little white dog. Come here. Yeah, just gotta literally just come up against it so that it starts following you. And we need to return this dog to its owner, which is in the back alley of the market square. We have to go, I think it's this door, but it might be the one next to it. Richard! This is my little Richard! Thank you, thank you! I'll give you this as a reward. Easy piece of heart, just have to bring her dog Richard back. Richard's gonna sit down. Sayonara, Richard, take care. Take care, little dude. Now we're going to make our way over to the Hyrule Castle itself to speak to the new Great Fairy we heard about in the last episode. Looks like I have another dog following me. Okay, it can be my friend for the now. Up here into the castle outside area. So this great fairy, you kind of have to act like you're going to see Zelda again. But instead of turning left to go into the castle, you actually have to keep heading straight from this point. And she's behind a little bit of a boulder that we can use one of our 40 bombs, now that we have the upgrade, to take out. Alternatively, I guess we could use the bomb chews, but those are really valuable. You can get like 10 for 100 or something at a secret bomb shop somewhere. Perfect into the hole we go to meet the new great fairy. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> so she's going to go ahead and give us Din's Fire. Its fireball engulfs everything. Its attack magic you can use with C. So when we equip that to a C slot, we can use it to create a little bit of a ring of fire that flies out around us. You can use Din's fire not only to attack, but also to burn things. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. 
Alright guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We did a lot today. We got a lot of upgrades. Got a lot of pieces of hearts, some golden skulltulas. In the next episode, we're actually going to be continuing on with the story progress, visiting a brand new area we haven't seen before. Of course, we'll be gathering some stuff along the way, but we're actually going to be making progress to get the third spiritual stone. See you guys then.